look on the left hand side you see the beautiful hectares of the vineyards so all of this area dedicated to the wines and the vines it likes the soil it has a large amount of rainfall up here so about 750 meters above sea level so the rainfall is optimum and also the sunshine i was just telling someone earlier cyprus is one of the sunniest countries in the mediterranean it's known as a sunny island and we have on point about 330 days of sunshine beautiful village of lopos here at the Trotters Mountain. Oh, in front is the amphitheater. You can see there is an amphitheater there. So this is the elementary school. High up here at the Trudis Mountain. This was built in 1917 and was stopped because of the war. I'm going to take you up to a more picturesque <laughs> So try and bring everyone to where the lovely little photographs and you can see again another wooden door same shutters and how they've compacted everything into building wild jasmine yes this is wild it jasmine jasmina nice. we call this oh, oh it amazing. smells so nice i know i like doing the oh, flower wow. things i think why not Gosh, it does. isn't that wonderful mm. Grows lovely up here. So the village people will collect their water from here until 1953. So that is actually look at the branch of the grapes, it looks dead, it? and if you can see, it's yeah, producing it's pink grapes. I was just explaining yeah. to everyone I'm that this vine to, here houses this. this plenty of grapes. So it's quite something. You can't and see if you that can looks see. like it's just about to fall off the wall. So this is the typical Capriot front door, and. Look at that. There you have some citrus, oranges, and flowers. Oh, what is that hanging? Is that um this one? It's nuts. Yeah, drying. They're drying the almond nuts. This is an amazing group. Grapes, plenty of fruits, but if you can see the branch, it's like a dead branch. It's like a dead I branch. It is. That is the stem see. of the vine and it's all grown. It's unreal. But if you can <laughs> see <laughs> the fruits, yeah, yeah. there's yeah. a yeah. lot. Yeah. This is yeah. just an amazing yeah. green. So this is a pomegranate. And in front is the olive just beside this house. Typical Capriot in the village. Capriot house. So this is a tiny cafe here at the village with some tourists arriving. I'll just have a stroll around and I'll have a Capriot co coffee here later. So this is the like a uh, city center here at the village. And so these are the eateries. Like a small restaurant. This is the figs in the table, and this gentleman is giving me 
eat. He cuts it half and give me and then eat. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? I mean, once we go Only a European. So this is 700 years old olive tree, which is protected by the Department of Forest. So the, this is the trunk. And that's how it looks like from afar. So some of the olives are starting to ripe. This is right ones So behind me is the Menlo Mary Waterfalls. Very beautiful. So Menlo means wet and Mary is place. So it's a wet place here in Cyprus. And the water is very clear, if you can see, yeah, very clear water. And if you can see also, there is a change of geography. Can you see the color of the stone? It's greenish compared below the produce. It's white so again I'll show you can you see the color of the stone it's not white because it's not chalky anymore so I'm walking here in the village one of the village here at the produce mountain Behind me is the pomegranate tree. There, As you can see. Hi, I'm here at the Tradis Mountain, waiting for my lunch. So I'm here at the Pisilodendro. I'm waiting for my order. But currently, I have this halloumi, grilled halloumi and raw halloumi. So if you are in Cyprus, try the halloumi. They're the best halloumi in the world. But if you are high in sojourn, you need to be careful. Because this is high in sojourn. really tastes really good the traditional way of eating this halloumi here in Cyprus is they're eating it with um, watermelon watermelon and halloumi so I'm trying this grilled halloumi and now let's try the raw halloumi this is raw halloumi and I have this lemonade, local drink, Ian Limonada. 
I'm just waiting for my order. So I have a very big portion of of salad and I think it's very important to eat a lot because from here I'm going for a wine tasting and my table is moving I'm now having my dessert and this is called Haubla Hauba Capoyot style. It's made of semolina and rose water and there's almond nuts. See you, See you later. I put a cardigan because it's getting very chilly here when I left Papos the temp is 29 degrees and it's really warm and high up here in the mountains the temperature significantly drops and it feels like only 16 degrees here there's a dense pine trees and most of the pine trees are ar arctic and some alpines and the breeze is really really chilly and from here I'll go to Omodos and have some wine tasting Okay, I'm going to enjoy my dessert. So this is the entrance for the Lambori winery. Okay, so today you're gonna try Two dry wines, two semi-sweet Kumandaria and Zibania. Zibania is a spirit. So uh, also you're going to have the chance to try our olive oil. Um, the olives are from the Kalamata. This, the production is here. So the first wine you're going to try is called Sushanti. It's a dry white wine. It's made from the local grape, Sinisteri. It has a light golden color. Aroma of a grapefruit, green apple, and lime. Enjoyable with light meals. Seafood, vegetables. So it's enjoyable with seafood, vegetables, pasta, salads. It has 11.5% alcohol inside. So please come and have a take it a glass. White wine. I'm trying this one. So guys, don't be shy. Who doesn't have a glass, please come closer. This is dry white wine. No, this is so a citrus white dry. This is citrus in a bottle. Light, refreshing. Cheers. It's quite dry. Huh? So, anyone else? It's called Crimson Sky. Attention. Please. Sorry, guys, we ran out of voice because we have a lot of groups today. So, so you have to be. 
carefully, guys. Sorry. We poured the alcohol, so. <laughs> so the next one it will be a dry red wine. It's called Crimson Skies. This one is made from three varieties of the grapes. It has inside Shiraz, Matar, and Cabernet Sauvignon from Spanish, from Spain, sorry, and the France. Do you want to try? 13.5% flavors of cherry, sour cherry, and plums. Perfect wine for a steak, for a roasted lamb. Okay, Chris, Chris, red wine. So this is 13%. Mm. I like the first one. Mm. Red. White. So the next guy is the So guys, Bravo will take because I don't have a voice anymore. Too much drinking last night. <laughs> now we shall go to a medium sweet red wine. Now in Cyprus to produce a wine sweet or medium sweet is forbidden the use of sugar. So, to gain the extra sugar, the fructose, we dehydrate the grape on the vineyard by leaving it longer. Two weeks after one month. This increases the sugar in the grape, but lowers the juice. So, per liter of wine, we need two times as many grapes. The first medium sweet we're going to try today is called Olympia. It's made from the Cypriot and Greek variety Lepkada, which is very dry, very acidic. 12% alcohol. Flavors of forest berries, pomegranate, and cinnamon. Please enjoy. Garia, este mundo group, etia. I like this one. Yeah. This one I like. So the one before the last it will be the famous recipe of the one in the wall, Kumandaria. Kumandaria is a 5,000 years old that exists in the wall. This specific Kumandaria is a 6 years old and we leave it for 4 years in a special bottle. We have 11 years old, 16 years old and 20 years old Kumandaria. The price for the oldest is 3,000 euros. It's made from the local grape cemetery and the local grape mob. Mouth of the grape of the cypress. So it's like a dessert wine, it's like syrup. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's very sweet. So I have this one now, the most expensive one. Shake, shake, shake. And I'm going to try. Oh wow, it's really special. Sweet. That's probably not. So guys, for one liter of the for the Kumandaria. Oh yeah, communion wine. Yeah. So it has 13% alcohol inside. You cannot only drink it, but you can do your own recipe. Put it on your coffee, ice cream, cake, and instead of going to make it more sweet. No. So guys, cheers. Cheers. Yamas. Yamas. It will be antibiotic, anti-stress. Anti-corona of the Cyprus, Zivania. Zivania is made from the leftovers of the Kumandaria.
Roman Dariak Sinisteri and the Mavros has for, sorry? Yes, yeah, exactly. It's also good for baby production. Mm. If you want more baby. <laughs> <laughs> so it has 43% of Roman and in Cyprus we have many uses about it. With melanin, when we are sick, we do compresses, also when we are sick. Uh, we also clean our windows and tables. Mm -hmm. It's like a clap -up. It will so clean your table. Like, uh, um, water, but with a great yeah. How many of you are going to drink Zivania? No, I don't think so. so it's high alcohol. I know. Forty-eight percent alcohol. That's too much. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me how does it taste? Yeah, have a try. 48% alcohol. <laughs> like vodka. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> I don't drink alcohol, so that will be too much for me. So, I, yeah. This one is made from the local grapes in Steri. It has a crisp clear color, aroma of the white currant, white peach, and spice. You can enjoy this uh, wine with appetizers, green vegetables, white fish, and caspacho. It has 11 and a half percent alcohol inside. So please continue. <laughs> Thank, thank you. Nothing to you. So this is going towards medieval grape press. <laughs> so now I'm here at the town center of Omodos. It's a village center because it's a village. And there are some tourists who just arrived. Let's read what is in this one. So it says Ducitius, abbot of the monastery of the Holy Cross, Omodos, slaughtered on 10th of July 1821 by the Turks, Greek War of Independence. So that's the story. There's stories that just arrived. I'll walk around and see. Check out this beautiful village of Omodos. So this church name is the Monastery of the Holy Cross. We'll check. So I'm now at the town of Komodos, still here in Trodos. And if you can see, it's cobbled street. And I'm heading towards the church in front of me that's the church with a capriot flag this church is famous because of the rule that was believed to be the last piece of rope that was used to find jesus on the cross 
So that's why the name of this church. So this is the entrance of the church. And before you can enter, you need to wear the robes. You cannot enter here with sleeveless and if your dress is high up your knees. So this is the facade of the church. So this is the silver cross inside the monastery of the Holy Cross. And in the middle is a very tiny piece of rope that was believed to be the last piece of the rope that was used to harm Jesus and every September each year there will be a pilgrimage of mostly Orthodox Christian come over here and this piece of silver cross will be out there will be a procession all over the village with this silver cross.